Today's video is on effective speaking in real estate sales. In sales, communication is the most valuable tool we have. The difference between success and low sales as a real estate agent often comes down to the agent's ability to clearly and effectively speak on the topics required. Yet so many agents have a great degree of difficulty speaking effectively with potential prospects or clients. The fundamentals of effective public speaking are universal. It does not matter if you're pitching a property to a small family in 30 seconds or leading an audience of 3,000 through a one hour sales seminar. So how do you do it? Here is one of the secrets to successful speaking, the power of confidence. Confidence is the most important thing you'll need to speak in front of any group because it improves your ability to communicate with customers at every turn. Having confidence in your speaking abilities doesn't just help you execute a speech. It frees you to listen better and helps eliminate the dreaded fumble tongue when responding to questions. It also leads to better, faster sales because you're not just giving your clients information. You're giving it to them more efficiently, which is especially important when speaking to groups. If you can't speak confidently in front of a group, how will you be prepared to speak in front of a single client? So how do I gain confidence, you ask? You build it. Confidence is constructed. And as real estate agents, we all know at least a little something about construction. It always starts with a foundation. Only then can you put up walls, a roof, insulation, electrical, plumbing, etc. So what does your foundation look like? After asking a number of speakers what their biggest rookie mistake was when they made that first speech, a massive number will tell you some variation of the following. I just didn't prepare well enough. Maybe they stated writing that speech the night before was the thing. Perhaps they didn't practice enough or prepare what to say. The fact is pre preparation, preparing a presentation, a sales pitch, or even talking points for an open house is much like preparing any other speech. There's likely to be research involved, a solid structure with a beginning, middle, and end is a must. And your whole speech needs to feel cohesive and not just like random pieces strung together. In short, there's work to be done and if your presentation is going to be good, it's a safe bet that you are, your prep work will be more extensive than what's required in an email or a memo. Thanks for stopping by.